Hello. In this session, we are going to see about how to create a Salesforce developer account. Salesforce developer account is actually a free of cost account. Uh, you don't need to pay anything for this license. But it is only for limited futures where you can use it. As well as there will be a limited storage spaces as well as there will be limited file storage spaces. So by using the developer account, it can be used only for your practical purpose. So if you wanted to explore and if you wanted to do the configuration practices and if you wanted to do the customization practices, you can sign up with the developer account and you can explore your knowledge. So let's see practically how we can sign up with the developer account. So first, go to the site called developer developer.salesforce.com. So there you need to select sign up. So here you can give your details. For example, I'm filling CRS info solutions and you need to fill the email ID. After that, you can select any role in that. So at present, I'm just selecting a developer role and you can give your company name or any test company names and you can select the name of the country and you can give any postal code and while you're giving the username it should be in the email format like there should be any name at any domain name so for example i'm just giving this name dot developer account so you can give any name in the format of email so after that you can select sign me up so the moment you select the sign me up button there would be a mail triggered to you sometimes it may take a few minutes you can just wait for some time and later you can get the email So after signing up with uh, developer.salesforce.com you need to log in with the credentials by using login.salesforce.com So this is the place where you can log in with your uh, developer credentials. So still I'm waiting for the uh, email from Salesforce support. So once we received, we are good to start. Okay, so now it's ready that we have received the email from 
salesforce so before login into your developer account the first time this would be the only one time that you need to select verify account it is like a verification account wherever you are signing up so and you need to create a new password so you can give any place and after that you need to select change password okay so every time whenever you you are logging into salesforce instead of using this url whichever given by salesforce you can directly use login.salesforce.com which would be good one so i am just using the login.salesforce.com so once you are given the url enter the user id and password and select login a moment we'll just sign out here and we'll go to login.salesforce.com and i'll just give the user id and later i'll just give the password yes now it's successfully logged in so here it's your own choice if you wanted to fill your phone if you wanted to register your phone number you can go ahead and fill your phone number in case if you don't want to select your phone number just give i don't want to register my phone yeah so now we have successfully logged in into salesforce account uh, so this is the developer account how you looks like and this is the way how you need to log in into a developer account thank you thanks for the time and support thanks for watching